Hello guys. As you can see that I have a Creality Ender 3 version 2 3D printer. We are going to apply some upgrades to this printer. With this printer we can print 25cm stuff in Z axis. First of all, we will change the profile bar you see in order to extend the print size and increase the Z axis to 40cm. We will replace the right and left two profile bars with longer ones. Secondly, we will both extend the Z-axis and add one more Z-axis motor to the left so that our printer will not be shaken due to the direct drive update that I will talk about later and so that we can get more perfect prints. In addition, we will attach one more from the Z-axis motor shaft you see to the motor we added. And as you can see, it shakes this way because the mill has no connection from above. We will ensure that it does not shake with a piece that fixes it to the profile. These are the parts we will make upgrade. We have two pieces of 40 centimeters profile bars. Again, our two 40 centimeters motor shafts. Our one Z axis motor. Trapezoidal shaft stabilizer and direct drive piece. I found the direct drive piece on the ThingServe, but I obtained the necessary parts for other developments from the store called 3 Boyd Store. I would like to thank Salim Eryol for his help during and after the sale. I leave the link of the page in the comments. As you can see, the direct drive device is as follows. You can print it before disassembling the printer. I made the 100% infill to be durable. You can find the link in the comments. We will remove the extruder motor from here and fix it on the extruder together with the piece we printed. As a result of doing this process, the Teflon pipe you see will disappear. This will prevent blockages. We will be able to get faster and flawless prints. Also, we will be able to easily print with TPU, flexible, filament. That's why we made two Z-axis motors. Since the weight of the extruder engine will also be on the extruder, we have provided two-way support with a second engine so that the single engine will not have to carry this load. This is the initial state of our printer, so let's start to make upgrades now. First, we disassemble our screen. Then we remove the x-axis profile. We disassemble the z-axis motor shaft and z-axis motor. As you can see in the figure, we will have two Z-axis motors. We need the following cable to connect two motors to the motherboard. We turn our printer on its side and remove the Z-axis profiles.
Let's do some cleaning while we're disassembled. To connect the Z-axis motors to the motherboard, we first unscrew the top and then the bottom screws and open the motherboard. We remove the previous Z-axis motor cable and replace it with the cable that will allow us to connect two motors. Then we can screw the motherboard. We have nothing else to do with the motherboard. Now we assemble our 40 cm profiles. Just don't tighten the screws too much. Let's tighten the top profile last after screwing so that it doesn't slip. Now we assemble the X-axis. For Z-axis motor, we need to assemble trapezoidal shaft holder. For this, we will unscrew the previous one and attach the trapezoidal shaft holder with longer screws. By the way, all the necessary screws and spacers come in the kit we bought from 3 store. In some printers, only screws may be insufficient. We need to balance it by putting one or two spacers. After assembling our trapezoidal shaft holder, we attach the top profile. Now we can tighten our Z-axis profiles that we left loose from the bottom. We have completed our first upgrade. Next up is connecting the Z-axis motors. The motor holders are already in place with the motors. After assembling our motors, we assemble the couplings and motor shafts. After assembling our shaft fasteners to the top, all that remains is to connect the cables of the motors and switches. We are assembling our screen. We have also completed our second upgrade. Direct drive upgrade is next. First we open the extruder. We disassemble the Bowden tube. We will cut the clamps holding our Teflon pipe and remove our pipe from the extruder motor. We take off our nozzle. I put the Teflon tube through the heating block in case it's clogged. Let's clean the heating block a little while we're disassembling it. Now we disassemble the extruder motor.
We also need to remove the heatsink. We unscrew the extruder holder and put the direct drive piece that we 3D print. We tighten the screws we removed. We assemble the heatsink and the nozzle. We need to cut a short Teflon pipe to make the necessary connection from the nozzle to the extruder motor. We insert the Teflon pipe so that it touches the nozzle. Then we place the extruder motor head in place and take measurements. As you can see, there will be a Teflon pipe this size. Now we tighten the Bowden tube tight. We assemble the extruder head and the extruder motor and tighten the screws well. We close the extruder completely. Since we took the extruder motor on top of the extruder, the cables will be a little short. That's why we need to add to the cables as well. We add one by one so that it does not interfere with the cables of the extruder motor. We have also completed our latest upgrade. Since we have extended the z-axis of our printer to 40 centimeters, we also need to update the software. Again, the 3 store store gets help in this regard. They send you the necessary software or you can download it from their site. The link will be in the description. The update will be completed when we put the software you downloaded on the memory card of our printer and turn on our printer. Then we take our printer to Auto Home. Let's set the table and get our first print after upgrades. Yes, it is printing pretty well. This is the final version of our printer. Hope you enjoy and it works for you. Thanks. Goodbye.